fiesta loca. Boa noite, São Paulo. Como vão vocês? How are we? A little bit louder, please. How are we doing in São Paulo? Much better. Welcome tonight to the Miss Universe preliminary competition. And welcome to everyone here in our audience in São Paulo. And welcome to all of our viewers on NBC.com. We've got a great evening for you. You guys saw some of the rehearsal videos of what we've been doing all week. You've seen videos of the girls all over the beautiful country of Brazil. We've got some great things planned for you for our show on Monday night. But right now, it's all about the preliminary competition. So without wasting any more time, let's meet the stars of the evening, our 89 amazing contestants. Roma Hodge, 26, British Virgin Islands. Chelsea DeRoche, 20, Canada. Kristen Alexander, 24, Cayman Islands. Vanessa Ceruti, 25, Chile. Rosalind, 24, from China.
25, Germany. Yaira Nego, 26, Ghana. Chloe Beth Morgan, 25, Great Britain. Ileana Babayor Yu, 23, Greece. Shayna Jones Bison, 24, Guam. Alejandra Barilla, 25, Guatemala. Carol Lord, 23, Guyana. And it's Yasael, 22, Haiti. Kaylin Gomez, 23, Honduras. Beth Olive Chay, 23 years old, Hungary. Vasuki Sungavali, 27 years old, India. Nadine Alexandra, 20, Indonesia. Eva Hannon, 19, Ireland. Steve Edry, 19 years old, Israel. Elisa Torrini, 22, Italy. Shakira Martin, 25, Jamaica. Maria Kamiyama, 24, Japan. Valeria Alenikova, 22, Kazakhstan. Sora Chong, 20 years old, Korea. Aphrodita Dreshai, 25, Kosovo. Twenty-six Malaysia. Leticia Dash, twenty from Mauritius. Karina Tiveros, twenty-three Mexico. Nicolina Lonchar, eighteen years old Montenegro. Kelly Baker, twenty-two. New Zealand. Adriana Dorn, 24, Nicaragua. Sophie Jamal, 22, Nigeria. Sheldry Saez, 19, Panama. Alba Riquelme, 20 years old, Paraguay. 19 years old, Peru. Shamsi Supsup, 25, Philippines. Rosalia Mancevich, 24, Poland. Laura Gonzalez, 22, Portugal. Vivian Ortiz Pastrana, 24, Puerto Rico. Larissa Popa, 24, Romania. Natalia Gensimurova, 20, Russia. Anya Shalanovich, 21, Serbia. Valerie Lim, 26, Singapore. Gabrielle 
Michelle Walcott, 27, Trinidad and Tobago. Melissa Snupamuk, 20, Turkey. Keisha Parker, 19, Turks and Caicos. Alyssa Stefanko, 23, Ukraine. Fernanda Semino, 18, Uruguay. Alyssa Campanella, 21, USA. Alexandria Evans, 25, US Virgin Islands. Vanessa Uncalves, 25 años, Miss Venezuela. Clown Mabel, 22, Vietnam. Let's have a round of applause again for our 89 contestants. Aren't they amazing? Let's hear it, let's hear it. Show them your support. So my name is Michael Schwant, and I am the choreographer for Miss Universe. So I've got a pretty tough job with my team of staging the show, choreography. But this next guy that I'm about to bring out has a pretty amazing job. Um, all the videos that you guys saw sitting in the audience, all the rehearsal packages, all the videos of the girls all over Brazil, any kind of new and interesting way to showcase Miss Universe and what she does and what the process is like, this guy comes up with it. He's got a pretty cool job. I'm envious. Uh, please welcome to the stage our director of digital multimedia, Colin Hornet. Thank you, Michael. Sao Paulo, how are we feeling tonight? What do you think, Michael? You think they're ready? Uh, I don't think they're ready, because I didn't really hear a very loud applause. I didn't hear Did it you? either. Boa noite, Sao Paulo! Now they're ready. Right. I think we're ready. Michael, thank you for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the preliminary competition for Miss Universe 2011. Tonight, our incredible judges who are sitting at the front row here, best seats in the house, didn't pay for them, we brought them in. They will decide who goes into the top 15, but there's also a 16th spot. This is exciting. You get to vote, people. Go online, missuniverse.com, nbc.com, and you get to decide who will be competing for the title of Miss Universe this year. So, whether you're sitting at home or you're here right now, I know you have paid for these seats. You only need the edge, people. That's how exciting tonight is gonna be. You're gonna see 89 of the world's most beautiful women competing for the chance of a lifetime. Now, I'd like to do this by myself, but you don't want that. The girls don't want that. So I'm gonna bring out a beautiful young lady to help me with this. She needs no introduction, but I can't think of any other way to get her out here. So, she's been called everything under the sun from eczema, eczema, Navariti, all sorts of different things. Yeah, entertaining for us, not for her, unfortunately. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage Miss Universe 2010, Jimena Navarrete Rosette. Buenas noches, Sao Paulo. Buenas noches, Colin. Buenas noches. How are you? Good night. I'm good. How are you? You look beautiful tonight. Thank you. You look great. I love your outfit. Well, thank you very much. Wardrobe picked it out for me. <laughs> so we have a very exciting night tonight, Jimena. This is, uh, this is pretty crazy. Tell us about the year that Miss Universe is going to be in for. It's going to be a great year for, year, for, year for the winner. And probably the contestants are backstage right now. And they just want to walk and prove the judges that they can use the Miss Universe crown. So they'll get more nervous the longer we keep them back there? Yes. Okay, cool. Well, let's go over a few more things then that everybody should know. There's a few new things that are happening this year with Miss Universe, aren't there? That's true. All right. Well, the first one up, this is the Lux Vote Meter. September 12th, night of the show, I expect all of you that aren't here and the ones that are here to stay tuned to the show, watching it from home. Go to uh, NBC.com backslash U score. That's the letter U followed by the word score and you can play along at home. You get to judge the girls on stage. I know you're judging them anyway, so you might as well use this. You can use it from your iPhone, from any mobile phone, or also from the website. That's pretty exciting, but there's also some other stuff, isn't there, Jimena? There's more things. All right, there's a couple more. 
Tonight, at the end of the show, we will announce who Miss Universe Congeniality is, and also who, I'm sorry, Miss Congeniality Universe, Andrea, I got you, and also Miss Photogenic Universe. But there's also one more thing, isn't there, Jimena? There's one more thing, and it's the best one. Oh, wow, okay. This is like I said at the top of the show, you get to vote. You determine who gets into the semifinals. How excited are you about that, people? I would think so. That's right, Colin. And the rest of our semifinalists will be selected by our jury and, of course, Miss Universe Organization people. But now, let's just meet our wonderful judges from this night. She's a businesswoman. She's a businesswoman, ambassador of goodwill, and president of Libra, the League of Women Voters, and secretary general for the United Nations Association here in Brazil, Ana Paula Junqueira. He's the president and CEO of Coleman, entertainment group and entertainment fashion-based public relations, marketing and management, firm B.G. Coleman. She is one of the world's most talented jewelry designers. Her exclusive creations are comfortable and contemporary and have been seen in several fashion magazines, including Vogue and In Style. Francesco Romana Diana. He has placed celebrity clients in many different media outlets, including the Today Show. He's a philanthropist and former head of the Larry King Foundation. Scott Lazarson. She's Vice President of East Coast Development for the Bravo Network. In the past, she's worked with VH1, MTV, Showtime, and the ABC Networks, and has produced a popular show for the Disney Channel, Lara Spots. He's an entertainment and new media lawyer, equal rights and diversity spokesperson. His clients have included BBC and Sony, Jimmy Wynn. He's worked for Vogue Brazil and Latin America, is a reality TV show host, and is currently a stylist here in Sao Paulo and all over the world. Matthias Mazafara. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, another round of applause for our judges. Because they have a really difficult job this night, right? They do, it is a very, very difficult job. But ladies and gentlemen, you also have a difficult job. We need you to vote. So log on to NBC.com or MissUniverse.com. You're going to hear this a lot. We need you to vote 10 times per email address per day. So what do you think, Amanda? Time to get started? <laughs> yes, please. Let's start. It's OK. You can blow kisses <laughs> to people. We can blow Yeah. Kisses. Look, it's full of nice people here. It is. Beautiful <laughs> crowd. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the show? Without further ado, let's get started. Here is the 2011 Miss Universe Preliminary Competition Evening Gown Competition. We're gonna begin the evening gown competition with Albania. Albania hopes to be a successful engineer one day. She is currently a university student and plans to graduate at the top of her class. Let's cheer for the engineer, Albania. Angola. Angola is currently a business management student. After she graduates, she hopes to open and run her own cosmetics business. Angola. Argentina.
Argentina once took a five-day course on proper breathing techniques and says meditation helps keep her relaxed. Let's face facts, she is relaxed. Argentina! Aruba. Aruba wants to open a nutrition center in her country. She says it's currently hard for vegetarians like her to find the information they need. Aruba. Australia. Australia describes herself as very outdoorsy. She enjoys scuba diving, hanging out at the beach, and camping in the middle of nowhere. Taking pride in being outside, Australia. Bahamas. was a broadcast major in college. After graduating, she landed a job hosting a beauty and lifestyle segment on a popular news station, Bahamas. Belgium. Belgium's parents managed a traveling fair when she was young. She spent the weekends moving from town to town and says it's the reason why it's easy for her to adapt to new surroundings. Catch her before she's gone, Belgium! Bolivia. Bolivia played four sports in high school in addition to winning medals in basketball and volleyball. She was named her school's athlete of the year, Bolivia. Botswana. Botswana graduated college at the top of her class. She currently works as an architect, building a better tomorrow. It's Botswana. Brazil. and really enjoys being in front of the camera. Brazil! British Virgin Islands. British Virgin Islands comes from a very large family. This striking young lady has 13 siblings, made up of nine sisters and four brothers. British Virgin Islands. Canada. Canada loves to run. And it says, really helps her to be in shape. After the pageant is over, she plans to run her first marathon. Canada. Cayman Islands.
Cayman Islands is a self-described sports freak. She's been playing volleyball for over 10 years and was recently a member of her country's national team. Playing sports of all sorts, Cayman Islands. Chile. A few years ago, Chile says she was living two completely different lives. She would milk cows at school every morning and then put on high heels and model at night. Chile. China. China is an ambitious young woman. She'd like to have her own jewelry and clothing line, open a restaurant, and build a new library in her country. Ambition is her mission, China. Please welcome back to the stage, Albania, Angola, Argentina, Aruba, Australia, Bahamas, Belgium, Bolivia, Botswana, Brazil, British Virgin Islands, Canada, Cayman Islands, Chile, and China. Continuing on with Colombia. Colombia tell us she's an excellent poker player. This beauty gets together with her friends every Wednesday night to play Texas Hold'em. Colombia. Costa Rica. Costa Rica refuses to be on her cell phone for more than five minutes at a time. She says if she's gonna have a conversation, she prefers it to be face to face. If you have a phone, please leave her alone. Costa Rica. Croatia. Croatia says going to the gym makes her feel comfortable with her body, gives her the energy to keep up with her busy schedule. Croatia. Curacao. Curacao gets a lot of attention these days. While visiting Colombia, people asked to take photos with her, and she was once recognized at a restaurant in Venezuela. Alert the paparazzi, it's Curacao. Cyprus. Cyprus collects classic poems. This beauty believes poetry is something that has the power to bring people together. Cyprus. Czech Republic. Czech Republic says that pageants have given her many opportunities. 
She hopes to parlay that success in a career in public relations. Czech Republic. Denmark. Denmark told us she wants to do some volunteer work in Africa. She's already started saving up for a trip in 2012. Denmark. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic is currently working towards a degree in psychology. She said that upon graduation, she plans to pursue her masters. Her smarts melt our hearts. Dominican Republic. Ecuador. Young, Ecuador has lived near the beach. She began gathering interesting shells years ago. It has over a thousand in her collection. Ecuador. Egypt. Egypt says she's always been petrified of reptiles. In fact, she screams whenever she sees a snake, even if it's just on the screen at a movie theater. She's not Indiana Jones, she's Egypt. El Salvador. Salvador really admires Madonna, but not just for her music. She respects how the singer continues to grow as a person. El Salvador. Estonia. Estonia once encountered a young girl choking on the street. She quickly performed the Heimlich maneuver and was able to get her breathing again. She's a real lifesaver. Estonia! Finland. Finland says she's terrible using maps. She's constantly getting lost, but she always remains calm and eventually finds her way home. Finland. France. France's friend recently bought her a ukulele for her birthday. She's excited to start playing it and hopes to write original songs to perform one day. She's music to our ears, France. Georgia. Georgia says pageants are new for her. She was working as a model, but gave his universe a try to make new friends and see Brazil. Georgia. Please welcome back to the stage our second group of contestants in the Miss Universe preliminary evening gown competition. Colombia. Costa Rica, Croatia, 
Curacao. Cyprus. Czech Republic. Denmark. Dominican Republic. Ecuador. Egypt. El Salvador. Estonia. Finland. France. And Georgia. Continuing on with Germany. Germany doesn't have any pets because her apartment is too small. This animal lover plans on getting a cat and two bunnies when she has the room. It's Germany! Ghana. Ghana was once at the airport when a man got sick. She had taken nursing classes, so she knew how to tend to him till a medical team arrived. Ghana. Great Britain. Great Britain is currently studying nutrition in college. She's paying for her classes by working as a fitness instructor. Let's bear witness to her fitness, Great Britain. Advantages. It's hard to find a man bigger than she is, and any dress she buys ends up being too short. Greece. Guam. Guam enjoys spending time outdoors. Unfortunately, she sprained her foot two years ago while she was chasing fish into a net, and it still hasn't healed properly. Be careful in those heels, Guam. Guatemala. Beer is not an option for Guatemala. When she was 16, she went bull riding without training and ended up hurting herself pretty badly. Guatemala. Guyana. Guyana has always been the person her friends turn to when they need advice. She plans on turning that into a career by pursuing a master's degree in psychology. Ladies and gentlemen, Guyana. Push into a pool and someone had to save her. Haiti. Honduras. Honduras participated in a controversial reality dating show in her country. 
she ended up quitting midway through because she says it wasn't something she was comfortable doing. Can't wait for a date, Honduras. Hungary. Hungary works as a TV presenter for a popular football show. She says it's not easy being a woman in a male-dominated field, but there's no, nothing she would rather to do. Hungary. India. India takes her education very seriously. In addition to law school, she has two bachelor's degrees and a double master's. School is super cool when you're India. Indonesia. Indonesia says being a film student makes watching movies hard. She finds that she's constantly judging the director. Indonesia. Ireland. Ireland lives by the motto, feel the fear and do it anyway. Despite being scared of heights, she jumped off a 30-foot cliff into the ocean while on vacation. Wearing her pumps while she jumps, Ireland. Israel. Israel is currently serving in her country's military. She says she was given a special permission to take a break from her training to participate in this pageant. Israel. Italy. Although she's never worked as a model, Italy has always loved fashion. She has a lot of clothes, many of which are custom made by a renowned stylist. Fashion is her passion, Italy. Please welcome back to the stage, Germany, Ghana, Great Britain, Greece, Guam, Guatemala, Guyana, Haiti, Honduras, Hungary, India, Indonesia, Ireland, Israel, and Italy. Moving forward with Jamaica. Jamaica has been a preschool teacher for the past two years. She said that children are a lot of fun to be around. Jamaica. Japan. Japan says she loves the city life, but prefers the pace of the country and the great outdoors. She especially enjoys camping, sleeping on the beach, and going spearfishing. She's never bored being outdoors. She's Japan.
Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan says that she would like to open her own veterinary clinic. She has always loved animals and hopes to get her own dog sometime soon. Kazakhstan. Korea. By the time she graduated high school, Korea had lived in three different countries. She says all that traveling helped teach her a lot about diversity. Korea. Kosovo. Kosovo says that it's hard to find shoes in her size. During a recent model shoot, she had to wear heels that were two sizes too small. Kosovo. Lebanon. Lebanon has amassed an impressive jewelry collection over the years. She has too many pieces to count, but estimates that she has several hundred bracelets, necklaces, and rings. Bling is her thing, Lebanon. Malaysia. Malaysia is very adventurous. She was stuck into diving with sharks in Kuala Lumpur as part of a conservation campaign. Malaysia. Mauritius. Mauritius really enjoys watching motocross and other extreme sports. She used to have a motorcycle of her own, but her dad took it away after she fell off while riding. Looking delicious, it's Mauritius! Mexico. Mexico has developed a product that she hopes will make her lots of money. She's proud of her invention, claiming it saves space, time, and water. Mexico! Montenegro. Four years ago, Montenegro wrote an essay about the dangers of drug abuse. Her award-winning article prompted her to visit a rehabilitation center and speak with patients. Montenegro. Netherlands. Netherlands says that everyone calls her younger sister her twin. Even though there is a two-year age difference, they look the same, dress the same, and even go to the same college. Netherlands. New Zealand. New Zealand hopes to be a news reporter one day. She says it'd be exciting to wake up each morning not knowing where her job will take her. 
Live from Sao Paulo, it's New Zealand. Nicaragua. Nicaragua currently works in public relations. She says her dream job is doing exactly what she is doing now, but with a little acting and dancing work on the side. Nicaragua. Nigeria. Nigeria has been a fan of African paintings since she was a little girl. She currently has over 25 in her collection, some of which she painted herself. Her art is melting our hearts. Nigeria! Panama. Panama recently paid for a trip to New York all by herself. She's proud of the fact that she's always been a good saver. Panama. Let's have one more look at Jamaica, Japan, Kazakhstan, Korea, Kosovo, Lebanon, Malaysia, Mauritius, Mexico, Montenegro. Netherlands, New Zealand, Nicaragua, Nigeria, and Panama. Paraguay. The first time Paraguay traveled solo, it was for a modeling job in Japan. She had so much luggage with her, she ended up accidentally leaving two bags at the airport. Don't forget about Paraguay. School. She started out taking pictures when she was 15 and now uses a professional camera to capture family moments. Peru! Philippines! says she's never been into contact sports. This 25-year-old beauty prefers to go bowling and once even participated in a tournament. Rolling down the lane, it's Philippines! Poland. Poland says her grandmother is an amazing cook. The problem is, every time this 24-year-old beauty visits her, she ends up eating too much. Poland. Portugal.
Portugal really values the time her family spends together. Most of her relatives live in different towns, and it's been two years since they've all been in the same city. It's family first for Portugal. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico knows how to box. Unfortunately, she was forced to stop because her mom thought the sport was too violent. Puerto Rico. Romania. Romania is fascinated by medical research. This former pharmaceutical student says there's nothing she enjoys more than working in a lab preparing medicine. They're looking fab in the lab, it's Romania. Russia. Russia says she reads all the time. She is always looking at books, even while in her car. Russia. Serbia. Serbia says her parents have always respected her and treated her as an equal. She tries to listen when they give advice because she knows they have her best interests in mind. Mama knows best when you're Serbia. Singapore. writes a successful beauty blog. She says being able to provide information and advice to people gives her a sense of achievement. Singapore. Slovak Republic. Slovak Republic will finish her bachelor's degree in medical chemistry this year. She used to want to be a doctor, but she often gets sick of the sight of blood. Being a doc doesn't rock when you're Slovak Republic. Slovenia. Slovenia says that this is her first time out of Europe. She couldn't wait to meet the people of Brazil and finally see some samba dancing. Slovenia. South Africa. South Africa says she's a very adventurous person. This year she tried bungee jumping and she recently went paragliding over Victoria Falls. This child sure is wild, South Africa. Spain. but that's nothing new. She claims that she's been speaking perfectly since she was just eight months old. Spain. Sri Lanka. Sri 
Rebecca nearly became a nun. But after living in the convent for a month with her aunt, she realized that it just wasn't her calling. Sri Lanka! Please welcome back Paraguay, Peru, Philippines, Poland, Portugal, Puerto Rico, Romania, Russia, Serbia, Singapore. Slovak Republic, Slovenia, South Africa, Spain, and Sri Lanka. Saint Lucia. Saint Lucia is a very adventurous young woman. One of her favorite things to do in her country is zip lining, San Lucia. Sweden. Sweden says she likes doing everything fast. She enjoys jet skiing and riding motorcycles, and within a year of getting her driver's license, she already had three speeding tickets. She has the need for speed, Sweden. Switzerland. Switzerland was a competitive high jumper for five years. She has 60 medals at home, and several of them are gold. Switzerland. Tanzania. Tanzania says she's matured a lot over the past few years. She used to be a wild child, but now prefers to be a responsible role model for young girls. Tanzania. Thailand. When she was just 12 years old, Thailand wrote a fantasy novel. She said it was fun to put together, but she has no plans to ever get it published. Thailand. Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago volunteered to have knives thrown at her the last time she went to the circus. She said although the crowd enjoyed it, she wouldn't do it again. She has the drive to avoid the knives. Trinidad and Tobago. Turkey. Turkey says modeling isn't always glamorous. She once walked down a runway with a snake around her neck when it suddenly began choking her. Turkey! Turks and 
and Caicos. When Turks and Caicos was 18, she worked as a newscaster. She said it was tough because even though she was the anchor, she usually had to write her own stories. Ladies and gentlemen, Turks and Caicos. Ukraine. Ukraine estimates she has composed well over 50 poems. Her favorite topics to write about include life, love, and happiness. Ukraine. Uruguay. Uruguay has a large coin collection. She inherited them from her grandfather and plans to pass them down to her children one day. Someday her sonny will get her money, Uruguay. USA. USA says she would like to host her own show one day. She's already a successful model and recently appeared on a reality show. USA. US Virgin Islands. U.S. Virgin Islands loves watching crime shows on TV. In fact, she even used to attend autopsies because she thought she might want to be a forensic pathologist. You commit a crime, you do the time with U.S. Virgin Islands. Venezuela. Venezuela is new to the beauty pageant scene. She started last year after a trainer at the gym told her to give them a chance. Venezuela. Vietnam. Vietnam says her career goals are always changing. She used to want to be an astronaut, then an architect, and now she'd like to make a living as a movie director. It'd be groovy to make a movie, Vietnam. Please welcome back to the stage our final group of contestants in the evening gown competition. St. Lucia, Sweden, Switzerland, Tanzania, Thailand, Trinidad and Tobago, Turkey, Turks and Caicos, Ukraine, Uruguay, USA, US Virgin Islands, Venezuela, and Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of the evening gown competition. How did the contestants do? Do we have any favorites? Sounds like we have a few.
Let him hear it. All right, well, next up is the swimsuit competition. But before we get there, we're gonna talk about a recent partnership that we have with Miss Universe and OPI. They've created an incredible collection of nail lacquer. It's the first time it's been done in the 60 year history. And it's a really, really, really beautiful line. I don't wear it myself, but I'm a pretty good judge of character and color. This is how it was all done. My name is Susie Weiss Fishman and I'm um, Executive Vice President of OPI Products and also the Artistic Director. OPI started as a dental company and from that we grew into what we are today, which is the largest professional nail company in the world. I'm known as the first lady of nails. Every day I look to excite the consumer. I come to work and that's my job, is to do something better and to do something better than I did yesterday. We felt that 2011 was the time to associate with Miss Universe because OPI is a global company. Both Miss Universe and OPI are universal. So we're going to be able to reach more fans around the world. So there are lots of different size glitters in yeah. there, which really you know, symbolize the, the size of the diamonds on the, on the crown. The first time I met Jimena, I knew she was a natural and that I could work with her on collaborating on the colors. Kind of the chunky glitters. Yeah. I was very lucky because I can give my ideas to her and she's very open. I think it's, it's, a, it's a good one. So let's yeah. put it on the list. Okay. Let's see. It was very interesting being part of the naming process. One of my favorites that we didn't get to use, it was Kiss My Sash, but maybe, maybe next time. Oh, this is more yeah. than that. I feel like maybe a little part of me is there, you know? Uh -huh, right about the foot out. Like this? Uh huh, yeah. that's good right there. See, that's good. <laughs> Nail color is really the greatest accessory today. It's not just nail polish, it's accessory. It's like wearing a piece of jewelry on your nails. If you have your nails done and they are like pretty, you feel good with yourself and you can express that to other people and they will see like a complete and beautiful the shades will really go along with anybody's lifestyle and the lifestyle of the woman will wear it and she will look good whether she's in a swimsuit, in long gown or going to work every day. It's going to be a really beautiful, beautiful line, Miss Universe Collection. That, Jimena, looked like a lot of fun doing that. Was that. Did you enjoy that? It was a lot of fun. You were there with me. I was there. I was behind the camera doing that kind of stuff. But it looked like a lot of fun deciding what you wanted to do and how the colors were going to turn out. Yeah, it was, it was a really amazing experience. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> now, you look absolutely beautiful. Welcome back. A really nice gown. Ladies and gentlemen, doesn't she look beautiful? Now we finished the evening gown portion of the competition and uh, we've got a little thing known as the swimsuit gown, or the swimsuit portion coming up. Who's excited for that? That's your favorite part, right? I, I thought it was your favorite part, actually. I thought it was yours. If my wife is watching, it is definitely not my favorite part. So now finishing the evening gown competition, what did, what did you think? Do we have any favorites so far? You know what? Please give a round of applause for our lovely president of Miss Universe organization, Paula Sugar. Paula looking lovely in the audience and she is the president of the Miss Universe organization. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, the vision behind oh. everything that is Miss Universe, Paula Sugar. So I've heard a lot from this side of the crowd. I need to know, who does this side want? Who are we cheering for over here? Yeah. 
great. Let them hear it. They're backstage getting ready right now, ladies and gentlemen. They need to hear you. And remember, this is great that you are cheering in here, and I hope you are cheering at home, but we need you to vote. So go to MissUniverse.com and NBC.com and cast your votes. It's an exciting, exciting opportunity and the first time in the 60-year history that it's ever been done. It's the largest vote of its kind. We have over 4 million people participating so far, so please make sure you join. So, Jimena, it's almost time. It's almost time for your favorite part of the show. I know. Yes, I am a fan. I'm sorry, honey. I love you. <laughs> um, but what are these girls thinking now coming out in the swimsuit? We've done the evening gown competition. What's going through their minds now? Well, probably they are nervous, but they have to enjoy. It's just once in a lifetime experience. So, What's the secret to doing well in the swimsuit portion? What, what did you do last year? Just a smile and be natural. Enjoy the moment that you are walking. That's, that's the secret. They say the swimsuit competition is one from the neck up. You're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. We are proud to present the swimsuit competition for Miss Universe 2011. Let's begin with Albania. Albania claims she has the best parents in the world. They've always pushed her to work hard, and she says her success is the result of their support. It's rad to listen to mom and dad, Albania. Angola. interested in the world of beauty since she was young. 14 years old, she would organize pageants for all the girls in her neighborhood. Angola. Argentina. Argentina has done some theater work in the past and hopes to be a famous actress someday. She says that if it doesn't work out, she'd like to be a TV host. Looking for my job, it's Argentina. Aruba. says her friend tell her she's in her little own world half the time. She's a big dreamer, believing nothing is impossible. Aruba. Australia. Australia is currently a communication student, but doesn't have a career path in mind yet. She says she enjoys everything, so it's hard to focus on one job. Time to make a decision, Australia. Bahamas. Bahamas used to have a job parking cars in a nice hotel. Fortunately, she didn't know how to drive stick and crash a Maserati. Bahamas. Belgium. Belgium says she loves to eat, but doesn't know how to properly prepare the food. She recently participated in a televised cooking competition and was the second contestant eliminated. She's not loving the oven, Belgium.
Bolivia. Bolivia feels that school needs to be the number one priority for all people. She believes that anything is possible as long as people are educated properly. Bolivia. Botswana. During a summer break from high school, Botswana had a very interesting job. She was hired to milk goats at her brother's cattle post for over a month. Botswana! Brazil! about soccer. She was a member of her high school team, but had to stop because injuries were messing with her modeling career. Brazil. British Virgin Islands. Virgin Islands' father is a pilot, and he even runs his own flight school. She told us that since she was three years old, her dad's been letting her fly the planes. Styling while she's flying, British Virgin Islands. Canada. She looks. She's a red belt in Taekwondo and says she would often beat up guys in her class. Canada. Cayman Islands. Before she left for college, Cayman Islands prepared brunch with her mom every Sunday. She says it was a real bonding experience as they would dance and sing as they cook. What's cooking good looking, Cayman Islands? Chile. Chile says that she's fascinated by the world of art. In addition to studying in an art school for years, she's a very talented abstract painter. Chile. China. China once went backpacking around the United States by herself. She got lost in a national park, but returned a few hours later with the help of a map. Getting lost at any cost, China. Welcoming back, Albania, Angola, Argentina, Aruba, Australia, Bahamas, Belgium, Bolivia, Botswana, Brazil, British Virgin Islands, Canada, Cayman Islands, Chile, and China. Colombia. Colombia is currently studying law in college. Eventually, she hopes to have a social career, one that will allow her to help people for a living. Colombia.
Costa Rica. Costa Rica is proud of her athletic prowess. She can throw a football better than most men and played professional soccer for two years as a member of her country's national team. It's a goal for Costa Rica! Croatia. Croatia didn't start modeling until her senior year of college, but now it's how she makes a living. She still remembers getting her first paycheck. It was spent on sunglasses. Croatia. Curacao. Curacao has wanted to be a model since she was very young. While in elementary school, she used to walk along the curb pretending it was a catwalk. Having a great day on the runway, Curacao. Cyprus. Since Cyprus was young, she knew she wanted to work in education. She loves children and is currently studying to be a teacher at her university, Cyprus. <laughs> Czech Republic. Czech Republic likes to relax in the great outdoors. In fact, she'd choose camping out in a tent over staying at a five-star resort any day of the week. Czech Republic. Denmark. While traveling, Denmark overcame her fear of heights by, by parasailing. She says she nearly cried several times, but at the end, it was worth it. Denmark. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic wants to run a modeling boutique in the future. She hopes to teach all aspects of beauty, including etiquette and spirituality. She teaches what she preaches. Dominican Republic. Ecuador. Ecuador was born and raised in the Galapagos Islands. She knows the importance of conservation and taking care of the environment. Ecuador. Egypt. Egypt was a very talented track athlete in high school. In addition to the four trophies she won, she's accumulated over 50 medals from various running events. Making running look stunning, Egypt! El Salvador. Salvador began collecting stuffed animals when she was 12 and currently has over 150. She says her parents think she's crazy for having so many. El Salvador.
Estonia. Estonia has been passionate about photography for years. In her spare time, she enjoys snapping shots of her country's beautiful green landscape. She's Estonia! Finland. Finland's father run his own art gallery. She has fond memories of working there as a guide when she was younger. Finland. France. says she's very passionate about surfing. She once got to hang 10 with a world champion while on vacation in the south of France. She craves big waves. France. Georgia. Georgia says she was traveling on a bus when a big rock rolled down a hill, nearly crushed the entire bus. Since then, she has never taken life for granted. Georgia. Colombia, Costa Rica, Croatia, Curacao, Cyprus, Czech Republic, Denmark, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Egypt, El Salvador, Estonia, Finland, and France. and Georgia. Moving on with Germany. Germany hopes to be a TV host in the near future. She would eventually like to move to Hollywood and attend acting classes. She's Germany. Ghana. Ghana says that everything has a place in life. She's a very organized person, even packing her suitcase a certain way every time she travels. Ghana. Great Britain. Great Britain's mom worked three jobs to make sure she was brought up well. She feels that her upbringing is the reason she's so independent these days. Not just good, Great Britain! Greece. Greece used to be a great gymnast and wo even won a gold medal when she was 11. She said that by the time she turned 14, she was thrown off the team for being too tall. Greece. Guam. Guam enjoys studying and is currently getting her master's degree in biology. Upon graduation, she plans on heading right off to medical school. She's gonna be one of those docs who knocks off your socks, Guam!
Guatemala. Guatemala was supposed to represent her country in last year's Miss Universe pageant. Unfortunately, she broke her leg, but is happy to have a second chance to compete. Guatemala. Guyana. Guyana says she can never get comfortable while sitting down. In fact, she often puts her feet up while in church, which has gotten her into trouble with the congregation. She's one laid back lady, Guyana. Haiti. Haiti is one tough lady. She has been studying martial arts since 80, mostly because she wanted to learn how to defend herself. Haiti. Honduras. Before Honduras finished high school, she took part in a reforestation project. She enjoyed voluntarily planting trees throughout her country. Trees, please, for Honduras! Hungary. When she was young, Hungary wanted to be a professional basketball star. But after she started modeling, it quickly put an end to her playing career. Hungary. India. India feels that if someone's afraid of losing, it'll be harder to reach their goals. She says the key to success is to always feel like a winner, and eventually you will be. Grinning while she's winning, India! Indonesia. Indonesia loves to write, but has never completed a book or script. Instead, she writes her ideas down on notepads. Indonesia. Ireland. Ireland used to be a law student, but decided not to pursue a legal career. She's more passionate about fitness and hopes to work as a sports scientist one day. Ireland! Israel. Israel says she really enjoys listening to people. When she's done serving in the military, she plans to go to college to study psychology. Israel. Italy. Italy says the biggest problem in the world today is pollution. She feels that every country should be more involved in developing renewable energy. Going green to keep the world clean, Italy.
please welcome back Germany, Ghana, Great Britain, Greece, Guam, Guatemala, Guyana, Haiti, Honduras, Hungary, India, Indonesia, Ireland, Israel, and Italy. Continuing with Jamaica. Jamaica traveled a lot due to her parents' jobs. Her mom worked as a travel agent, and her dad was a member of a popular reggae band. Jamaica. Japan. Japan is proud of the way her country reacted to the recent devastating earthquake. She says everyone put aside their differences and lent a helping hand. Let's hear it for Japan. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is a big Mark Zuckerberg fan. Although she doesn't social network, she says the Facebook founder is a total genius. Kazakhstan. Korea. Korea dreams of owning a big truck one day. The problem is she failed her driver's exam three times, so she doesn't have a license. Stay out of her way on the highway, Korea! Kosovo. Kosovo is a talented singer who has toured to several countries. She sings mostly pop, music, and R&B. Recently released her first CD, Kosovo. Lebanon. Lebanon told us she once saved a four-year-old boy from drowning. He had been pushed into the deep end of a pool, but she dove in and brought him to safety. Lebanon! Malaysia. says that if she could meet anyone in the world, she would choose Warren Buffett. She's very interested in philanthropy and economics. Malaysia. Mauritius. Despite being scared, Mauritius once went diving with sharks. She told us it's a popular tourist activity in the northern part of her country. She saw a fin and dove right in. Mauritius. Mexico. Mexico loves art because she enjoys creating new things. Over the past few years, she has taken several painting, design, and textile workshops. Mexico!
Montenegro. Montenegro admits that she can be a very stubborn person at times. She said that whenever she ignores her parents' advice, she ends up regretting it. Let's hear it for Montenegro. Netherlands. Netherlands once swam with dolphins while vacationed in Egypt. She was alone in the water when a few swam up and stayed by her side for about an hour. Netherlands. New Zealand. New Zealand enjoys dancing in her spare time. She studied ballet for over three years, but these days she prefers jazz and hip hop dance. She'll dance when given the chance. New Zealand. Nicaragua. Nicaragua says that reading is her biggest passion. She enjoys love stories and says there's nothing like a good book. Nicaragua. Nigeria. Nigeria once nursed a premature cat with an eyedropper full of milk. She is a big fan of felines and currently has over 30 pet cats. She finds purring quite alluring, Nigeria. Panama. get her college degree in marketing. What she would prefer to be a famous writer, her backup plan is to run her family's business. Panama. Let's have one more look at Jamaica, Japan, Kazakhstan, Korea, Kosovo, Lebanon, Malaysia, Mauritius, Mexico, Montenegro, Netherlands, New Zealand, Nicaragua, Nigeria, and Panama. Continuing on with Paraguay. Paraguay really enjoys reading, probably because her parents own a bookstore. She's been surrounded by literature her whole life and even grew up with a large library at home. Reading books with good looks, Paraguay. Peru says she needs dessert after every meal. She will eat cookies if they are round, but prefers rich chocolate cake or tres leches. Peru. Philippines. Yeah. 
Philippines lists sketching and painting as two of her hobbies. She had her first art exhibit when she was just 15 and sold all four of her paintings that were on display. Philippines! Poland. Poland says she doesn't understand why more people don't visit her country, surrounded by mountains and sea. And the locals are very nice. Poland. Portugal. Portugal loved being on stage when she was younger, but she doesn't want to act professionally. Instead, she hopes to have her own fashion line one day. Designing clothes for her bros, Portugal. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico used to play center on a club basketball team. She said people call it the pretty team because they wore makeup and had pink uniforms. Puerto Rico. Romania. When Romania was 10, she took judo lessons. She was so much taller than everyone else in the class that she was forced to fight the boys. Breaking boards and our hearts, Romania! Russia. Russia has always had a special place in her heart for animals. Growing up, she would often rescue homeless cats and dogs, providing them with food and shelter. Russia. Serbia. Serbia used to play water polo on a men's team. At first, her teammates weren't sure if she'd be able to compete, but she convinced them by scoring the winning goal in a game. Serbia! Singapore. Singapore used to have short hair and wear baggy jeans. When she turned 20, she said she finally got girly and started wearing makeup. Singapore. Slovak Republic. Three years ago, Slovak Republic decided to give bungee jumping a try. She was anxious up until the moment she jumped, but called the overall experience incredible. Slovak Republic. Slovenia. Slovenia is a very talented fashion designer. This 21-year-old even made her own dress for a high school dance. Slovenia. South Africa.
South Africa enjoys public speaking. She says there's an endless amount of influence and impact one can make through motivational talks. She's South Africa. Spain. When she was 16, Spain won a scholarship to a sports training center. She played volleyball and lived with athletes from all over the country. Spain. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is the deputy CEO of a publications company. She is currently developing a mobile travel guide. Sri Lanka! Please welcome back to the stage, Paraguay. Peru, Philippines, Poland, Portugal, Puerto Rico, Romania, Russia, Serbia, Singapore, Slovak Republic, Slovenia, South Africa, Spain, and Sri Lanka. Continuing with St. Lucia. St. Lucia saw some amazing things on an African safari. One day she was taking a shower when she saw a giraffe. St. Lucia. Sweden. Every time Sweden travels, she brings home a bag as a souvenir. Her collection has become so large, the bags have their own room in her house. Bags are her bag, Sweden. Switzerland. Switzerland once saw a man fall off his motorcycle while driving too fast. He had a broken leg, so she helped him off the road. Switzerland! Tanzania! Tanzania says she used to be so bow-legged that she needed to wear braces in order to walk. Her legs straightened out eventually, and now she rules the catwalk. Tanzania! Thailand. Old Thailand is proud of the fact that she has her pilot's license. This year, she even got to fly an airplane solo for the first time. Thailand. Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago says her competitiveness often gets her in trouble. She once broke her nose while racing up a flight of stairs with her sister. It's pretty sweet to watch her compete. Trinidad and Tobago!
turkey. When she was 13, Turkey was in her first movie. The film was well reviewed and she even won an acting award for her performance. Turkey! Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos feels that laughing is a great way to relieve stress. She is always making jokes and says her friends enjoy her sarcastic sense of humor. This honey sure is funny. Turks and Caicos. Ukraine. Ukraine took accordion lessons when she was younger. Despite practicing for nearly five years, she only knows how to play one song. Ukraine. Uruguay. Uruguay feels that horses are a symbol of liberty and freedom. She says there's nothing more peaceful than riding one through the countryside. It's a horse, of course, for Uruguay. USA. When she was 18, USA worked as a bridal consultant. She knows a lot about the industry and has already decided she doesn't want a big wedding. USA. U.S. Virgin Islands. U.S. Virgin Islands used to belong to the same gym as U.S. President Barack Obama. She said they even have a post-workout photo together. U.S. Virgin Islands. Venezuela. Venezuela currently works as a dentist. She said it's hard job in her country, but she loves the challenge. Venezuela. Vietnam. Vietnam is currently putting herself through college. She was able to pay the tuition for her freshman year by working as a personal assistant to a CEO. She is Vietnam. Please welcome back our final group of Miss Universe 2011 contestants. St. Lucia, Sweden, Switzerland, Tanzania, Thailand, Trinidad and Tobago, Turkey, Turks and Caicos, Ukraine, Uruguay, USA, US Virgin Islands, Venezuela, and Vietnam.
Ladies and gentlemen, please, another round for our beautiful contestants, all 89 of them. It was a great show, Colleen. It was a really great show. One more time, did you guys have any favorites out there? <laughs> Sounds like they had a couple of favorites, Amanda. Yeah. Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, República Dominicana. Beautiful. Incredible. Well, Amanda, there's two parts to this competition. There's the evening gown competition and there's the swimsuit competition. Talk to me about the evening gown competition. You know what? I like them both, but I think that evening gown is more elegant and glamorous and swimsuit competition is always more fun and with movement, more like having fun. I had fun. Did you have fun? Of course. What do you think? We think you should bring them all back out on the stage? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, your 89 contestants for Miss Universe 2011. With all of these contestants back out here, there are two special awards that Jimena and I would like to hand out this evening. First up is Miss Congeniality Universe. Behind the scenes at Miss Universe, there is usually one young lady who stands out for being friendly, funny, and easy to talk to. All of the contestants got together and they voted for their winner. Jimena, who'd they pick? The winner of the award for Miss Universe Congeniality Universe 2011 is... Montenegro! Thank you very much, Miss Montenegro. All right, and the winner of the next award was selected by an expert panel of judges who reviewed all 89 photos of these beautiful contestants and voted for their favorite. So, Jimena, why don't you tell everybody who won Miss Universe, Miss Photogenic Universe? The winner of Miss Photogenic Universe 2011 is Sweden! Congratulations to our 2011 Miss Photogenic Universe and Miss Congeniality Universe winners. And thanks to our sponsors, Farouk Systems, makers of Chi and BioSil, our friends at Bonji, Darawish Paternhoz, Federico Nogiera, and Johnny Saad. I apologize if I got those wrong, but thank you very much. Thank you. The wonderful judges and, of course, Michael Schwant, our talented choreographer for the 2011 Miss Universe pageant. Be sure to head over to scoremissuniverse.com to play along Monday night. You'll be able to rank your favorite contestants on the Lux leaderboard. This is incredible. It's groundbreaking. It's amazing. You play along from home, and it's live during the telecast. Thank you to everyone here in Sao Paulo. Thank you. Good night, Brazil. My beautiful, talented, incredible co-host, Jimena. Thank you so much. And to all of you at home and in our audience, don't forget to watch live. The 2011 Miss Universe pageant, September 12th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. She gives up the crown. One of these ladies wins. Join us then. We'll see you tonight. Bye-bye. Buenas noches, Brazil.